Okay, let's see what comes out for Sagittarius. If you're not Sagittarius, take for your ninth house. Reach out for one-on-one -on -one reading. Follow me on TikTok. I'm going to get to 1K so I can buy soon for y'all. I'm also doing a free Q, um, Q and a Well, free questions and readings is what I want to say. On YouTube at Running Gun Tarot. Check me out there. Um, Joker in the reverse. This actually embodies a lot of energy. Um, Sagittarius or ninth house cross watcher. Primarily, it's like a hanged man energy, a lot of stagnancy, waiting around. Okay, you might feel as though that you are so close to the beginning of a new chapter of stability. Um, it might even feel that, like, just as you are about to enter this new chapter, things feel like they're moving painstakingly slow. Um, best not to look or try to operate in that perspective, that visual point of view. Um, try to use this as a way to kind of incorporate um, healthy habits, uh, healthy lifestyle choices, right? Nothing good is going to come from, like, I call it shot clock watching, watching the timer, watching the clock. It's going to make it feel like it's moving even slower. Soon enough, this new period of kind of rebirth and, and starting something new will emerge and will show itself, but it's not going to do you any good. Um, beating your head up against a wall, this is a time to change your perspective. Again, don't try to kind of create this ugly narrative or that's going to be the egoic temptation is like, oh, this person is being very rude. They're not being timely. They're not doing this in a way that I want them to do it or in a way that I would do it. All of that's ego. It's not going to help you, right? Um, you have to kind of just submit and give to the present moment. Find the joy and the happiness and the satisfaction here in the present moment. Don't outsource. Don't give your power to this external situation. Remember, the... the the greatest, the finest opportunity in your favor can still be something that tries to test you egoically, okay? Um, don't feed into it. It feels now, me personally, speaking, you know, for myself and maybe others can relate to this, it feels like that, that which triggers you or gets under your skin because it's like the final home stretch for you entering this new phase of this cycle, it's really trying to come on to you very strong. It might even feel like you're being attacked, but again, you, you already won by not giving it your focus, your attention, or your power, right? But rather sitting in the stillness, sitting in meditation, right? This is that thing that's moving slow, 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 right? But it can only be moving slow to the relative observer, so switch your focus uh, and your attention to where you could be uh, positively useful and influential. And that'll do well for your alchemy, your personal energy. And it may even feel like it'll help speed things up as well. Yeah, all your efforts, you know, will be paying off. This is like a collective you know, reference uh, in regards to all your efforts, meaning all these efforts of the past year, two years, three years, four years, uh, your lifestyle, right? The, the path that you've been following, your dharmic path, the good karma that you've been accruing, all of it, inch by inch, adds up. And so now is the, as good a time as ever to implement everything that you've been learning by remaining present and not shot clock watching as I like to call it. Because you might kind of soup yourself up under the guise of like a false narrative. Um, and that's the last thing that you want to do is create these kind of straw men to fight that only exist in your imagination and your thought narrative. Anything else here, Spirit? Sagittarius here. The 
We do see a lot of stability coming in from this opportunity though. Again, not letting things disturb your peace. You can see it a mile away, right? You're, you're, and that's a, that's a signif uh, signifier that you've actually passed that, that kind of karmic test where you're no longer fighting battles that you can't get anything out of. Even though your ego wants to, you're totally removed from it and detached from it. You have better areas that you could send your energy towards. Also, I think you'll get a lot of mileage in zooming out, seeing the bigger picture, seeing how far you've come. That way when this victory comes in for you, and it will in a, in a palatable way, in a tangible way, um, you could actually savor it. And you could begin that process now by zooming out and seeing how kind of uh, arduous this has been and, and how you've kind of succeeded, you've passed with flying colors. Okay, it could have been how long you've been single, how long you've been out of a job, how long you've had to endure maybe a sickness or something like that. Something's coming to a conclusion here. And so you'll get great benefit as opposed to looking at the last mile of the race and being pissed that you still have a mile left. Be like, wow, I did 499 miles behind me or something crazy. Because it's yearly, right? We're not just talking about something that was over the past year, week, or month. We're talking like this big cycle, maybe even like a four-year cycle. It's better to look at that and feel good about that then feel pissed about the last kind of leg of the race, so to speak, or the last mile of the race. Less than a leg. All right, reach out for more. Let's see what Capricorn has to say.